Hello everyone and welcome to my mini tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do bat wings and bat fur in cute and creepy colouring book. This is the little cutie that I'm going to be doing today and I'll be using Arteza pencils and at the bottom left hand corner you will see each pencil that I'll be using. So I'm going to be putting some music to this. It'll be a real time colouring book to music. So I won't be chewing your ear off. And I hope you enjoy the video. Um, if you do want anything, please comment in the comment section. And I'll be happy to answer any of your questions. So let's get on with the colour along. Okay, so I'm going to explain what I'm doing for the first part. And then obviously we can continue on with the music. So here, I'm just going to put Espresso Brown all around the edges of the bat's membrane of the wing or the skin. And this is always stretched out and kind of like sort of translucent. So hence why I've put the Espresso Brown right in the deeper corners of the bat's skin. Um, and then towards the middle section will be lighter. So on this bit is Espresso Brown. And I'm just putting a light layer all along that area. But as I work towards the middle, I've just lightened off the pressure and pulled out that espresso brown just a little bit further because that'll be our blend line for the next colour. So the next colour I'll be using is raw sienna. That should just come up in the left hand section at the bottom where you can see Espresso Brown. I'm going to be starting off in that section where we did the blend line. So it's just over the top of the faded part of the Espresso. And then we're building up on that layer and pulling out towards the middle. Again, we're just doing this as a light layer. I'm going to show you two ways of doing it today. This is the layered technique will work in each section at a time and then the other wing i'm going to work with the espresso then the raw sienna then the camel brown one after the other so we'll see you can see both ways that i tend to color or shade should i say so now we're working the raw sienna towards the center and then i'm going to prepare the edge again where i lighten off the pressure and that will be our blend line again for the next colour, which will be camel brown. OK, so I'm going to go in with the camel brown here again. We're going to start off in that blend line from the raw sienna. And fill in all that middle section just with a medium to light pressure. And just make sure that it's all nicely blended in with that last light tone that we're using there. And once you're happy with that, you can move on. Now, what we're going to do is we'll be going over it with a second layer. So we'll be doing the same process again, starting with Espresso Brown and doing exactly the same again. And all that is just lays it up and gives it a nice pigment to it. And um, it fills in all them gaps that may be left. And this just helps you. It's always nice to layer up because it just helps the transition between the colours to blend much better than if you try and rush it. So work on your second layer exactly the same as we did the first layer, which is deepening up that edge and then lightening off towards your next colour for that blend line. So I'm going to play some music now um, and the rest of the wing will be done to music and then when we start on the next wing I'll come back on and explain what we're doing again and we'll go from there so see you shortly
Okay, so now we're going to use Espresso, and this is the other way that I do wings, where I'll do all the areas in Espresso brown first. So here you can see I'm doing along this wing, exactly the same method, leaving out the blend line, or at least should I say putting in the blend line, um, and I will do that in each section of the Espresso. Okay, and now we're going to go in with raw sienna. And then we're going to do all the sections again with raw sienna, starting in that blend line that we've left from the express all brown. And then once we've gone into all that blend line, just going to come out a bit into the center and prepare that ready for the last color camel. So we'll go through the whole of this wing using this colour now. Okay, and lastly in with camel and then we'll start in the raw sienna blend line and work to the center and this will become our blender pencil and we'll go over the whole section blending all three layers together so you get a nice seamless transition between espresso and raw sienna and now camel. Okay and once all that is done we will then move on to the bone structure of the wings and I'm going to be using Noir and these will be for the shadow and I'll be putting this on the tips of the bones and towards the joint where the little hook is or the hook bone or whatever you want to call that point <laughs> um, on the middle of the wing.
now that black bit's done, we're going to move on to koala grey. And then this will be to transition from the black towards the highlight colour, which will be our lightest value. And we'll just fade this out everywhere you put the black. Just fade this out towards the middle. And now we're going to use smoke grey and this will be our highlight which will just go in the centre of each one of them bones for the wing and this just gives it dark tones and light tones which gives it depth and brings the image more 3D. Okay, so now all that is finished, we're going to use Noir to start off with and we're going to put all our darkest values of the fur in. And all I'm doing is tiny little flicks and I'm pushing down and flicking upwards. Now the best technique that I can suggest that I do for her is to flick in all different directions. So flick, crossing your flicks, maybe do one coming, flicking down a bit, up a bit right a bit left a bit um, and as you can see I'm doing that on screen right now and this helps the fur to, to make it look more furry if you do them all in straight flicks it just starts to look uniform and you don't get the same furry fluffy texture than if you flick in different directions so just follow along and I will transition between Noir, Espresso camel and raw sienna throughout the fur but just follow the pattern I do and the rest of this will be to music so enjoy watching me do fur and I hope you can pick up this technique.
just lastly finish off the feet here with camel and then we're going to move on to the eyes and we're going to use exactly the same colors again it's a very simple technique and the lightest camel will go in the lighter values of the eye as i'm doing right here and i've colored in the actual highlighted spots because we'll use posca on them shortly next we'll be using raw sienna and i'm just going to put that if you can see where there's like a light gray area sorry just spelt that bit wrong <laughs> oh it's getting towards the end of the video and my brain was going a bit mush so in with the raw sienna and these are just in the grey area you see of the eye. And I just fill all them areas and on the left and the right eye in them say, same greyed off areas. And then we'll move on to Expresso. And when we use Expresso, I'll just be putting this in the darkest areas so just around the pupil and that'll just be to deepen up that darker area and that helps the eye pop and give it that extra depth so it looks like the eye is kind of more 3d and that's the effect that we want and these little touches just help finish off the eyes in a way that you think wow yeah they actually look glassy and that's what you're aiming for really um so I do this in the left eye and then the right eye. Can you see the difference now between the left and the right just by doing that? And it just gives it that extra pop. Okay, and now I'm going to finish off with my white Posca pen. And I'm using my small metal nibbed Posca pen. These are 0 0.7. And I'm going to just put that in the highlights of the eyes. And then I'm going to put my own extra lines in there. And that just gives it that extra sparkle that we require. Because eyes are shiny, aren't they? So he needs to have shiny, sparkly eyes. And then we're just going to highlight his little teeth, his little fangs, because in there is the soul of a vampire. With just these little bone ones at the top and then the fangs in his mouth yeah you won't like them to bite you and turn you <laughs> so there's my little batty he's all finished and that everyone is how i do so I've, i hope you've enjoyed this little tutorial today um i've thoroughly enjoyed doing it i have done bat wings and cat fur in another one of my videos the deborah muller spooked over one so if you want to see how i did that long cat hair please go out and check that video that's on my channel um but there you have it panned out in all its glory and all that's left to do is just the bit of confetti that's flying around at the back of him and i'll do that off camera but for now that's how i do it so hopefully you can follow along with that and that you've enjoyed this tutorial today. So check out some other videos I have on my channel and keep an eye on other videos that I have coming out. If you subscribe and you like what you see, please subscribe. Give me a thumbs up and press that bell and it will give you notification every time I go live or I upload a video. So thanks for watching today.